everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference and I make learning easy and accessible for students. Today we are going to be talking about blood flow through the heart. But our advice, if you've not watched our video on the anatomy and physiology of the heart, you have to watch it in order to get the basic understanding about the heart. But this video is going to be talking about the blood flow through the heart. But before we go into details, kindly click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. Let's go there. Welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be talking about the blood flow through the heart. How does the heart help to pump blood throughout the body? The first thing is that we all know there's two different types of blood. We have the oxygenated blood and the deoxygenated blood. The oxygenated blood is the one rich with oxygen and essential nutrients. While the deoxygenated blood has more of carbon dioxide and waste products that can when compared to the oxygenated blood. So, in the first place, we are going to be starting from the right side of the heart when it comes to the blood flow through the heart. If you notice, we have what? We have the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. Deoxygenated blood, that is blood with um, high carbon dioxide, blood with low oxygen enters into the heart through the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. Let me explain. Deoxygenated blood from the head, from the upper part of the body, the deoxygenated blood, they enter through the superior vena cava. While deoxygenated blood from the lower extremities, they enter through here, the inferior vena cava. So, deoxygenated blood from the lower extremity, that's your legs, your abdominal region, they enter the heart through here, the inferior vena cava. While ox um, deoxygenated blood from the upper extremity enters through the what? Superior vena cava. So when it enters, it goes to where? The right atrium. When it gets to the right atrium, we all know the heart, the atrium, con the heart contracts. So when it's filled up, this valve opened. This valve is usually closed during the process of this one filling up. This right atrioventricular valve is usually closed. So when this right um, atrium is filled up, this valve opens. Then the blood here in the right atrium enters into the right ventricle. And then it fills it up. So when the right ventricle is filled up to the satisfaction, this one closes up. That's your right atrioventricular valve. It closes up. But this blood is not supposed to be here. It has to go away, right? So what happens is that this ventricle contracts because it has to pump this blood to the lungs so that the lungs can wash the blood, so that the lung can cleanse this blood off the waste product. It doesn't have to remain in the left ventricle. So what happens is that when this heart, the ventricle contracts, it pushes the blood up, it moves the blood up, and it passes through this valve here known as the pulmonary valve so the pulmonary valve takes this deoxygenated blood to uh, the pulmonary artery if you notice this pulmonary artery bifurcates it divides into two forming the right pulmonary artery and the left pulmonary artery the left pulmonary artery takes this deoxygenated blood to the left lungs while the right pulmonary artery take the deoxygenated blood to the right lung. This is how it started. Let's finish with this part first. We said that deoxygenated blood comes into the right atrium through here, the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava, right? From this place, it moves to where? From the right atrium now, through this valve, which is through the, um, the right atrioventricular valve, it goes into the right ventricle right from the right ventricle there's contraction it moves into here the pulmonary artery right then this pulmonary artery divides into two so that the the deoxygenated blood can get to both the right and the left lungs 
So when it's this deoxygenated blood gets to the lungs, it's now oxygenated. The waste products are removed, so we breathe in um, oxygen and breathe out the carbon dioxide. The waste so in the lungs, there is oxygenation of that blood. Look at that oxygenation in the lungs. We now have what we call the, the left and the right pulmonary vein. The right pulmonary vein will be bringing fresh blood from the right lungs. The left pulmonary vein will be bringing fresh blood from the left lungs. So they will enter through this place. The left and the right they are both bringing what fresh oxygenated blood so they will enter through this place the left and the right they will enter into the way the left atrium it comes like this it comes like this the blood is now in the left atrium right so when it gets here this one is fit same thing they're happening at they're happening at the same time so when this is filled up this open which is your left atrial ventricular valve then the blood enters the left atrium. Left ventricle, I mean. So when the left ventricle is filled, contraction takes place again, and the blood passes through this valve, which is known as the aortic valve. From here, it enters this place. From this place, it goes through the aortic valve. This valve here is the aortic valve. From the aortic valve, it goes to the aorta, and from the aorta to all parts of the body. So the fact is, it might be difficult for you to understand at this very stage, but when you go over this video and also go over your text or the voice note on our class, you will be able to understand properly. So I'll just give a summary of what I just explained here. I said that oxygenate, deoxygenated blood comes from here, the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. They enter into where this right atrium. From the right atrium, it passes through the right atrioventricular valve into the right ventricle from the right ventricle now it passes through this pulmonary valve whenever you hear pulmonary what should come to your mind is the lungs it passes through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery from the pulmonary this pulmonary artery divides into two so that they can go to the two lungs in our body the left and the right lungs so when it divides into two it goes to the left and the right lungs oxygenation takes place in the blood so another vein, with another um, blood vessel, which is the pulmonary vein, we bring oxygenated blood into this left atrium. So from the left atrium, the blood goes into the left ventricle, and from the left ventricle, it passes through the aortic valve. From the aortic valve, it goes to the, through the aortic valve to the aorta, and from the aorta to all parts of the body. I hope this video helped you understand the blood flow through the heart. If there is any question, kindly drop in the comment section. If you have any good comments, kindly drop in the comment section. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share with a friend, and also don't forget to watch with a friend if you got enough value. Thank you very much and see you in our next video. Bye.